has successfully completed its space mission, Chandarayan 3. They have become the first country to land on South Pole and fourth country to land on the surface of Moon. Welcome to another interesting episode of History of World. India will also launch its space mission to study Sun in September. <clears throat> no, doubt such accomplishments are treatment to India's space research efforts. But what about their neighbouring country, their arch's rival Pakistan? Pakistan's space agency known as Sparko came into being in 1961, eight years prior to India's own research organisation. But there is huge difference between them. One agency is planning its next mission to study Sun, while other one is still struggling to send rocket without foreign aid. But how all this happened, let's talk about that in this video. Let's talk about Sparko. It came into establishment on the 16th of September 1961, under the leadership of Abdu Salam. At that time, Suparco was the first Muslim space agency. Its major accomplishment came on 7th June 1962, when with the help of United States, Pakistan launched Rebar-1. This was uncrewed solid fuel sounding rockets. Because of this, Pakistan secured its destination as the third country in Asia and 10th in world to conduct successful spaceflights. But as we enter 1970s, government interests started waning because they started to put their attention towards nuclear bomb. Zulif Karali Bhutto, Prime Minister of Pakistan, started to appoint military figures instead of scientists to administrative positions of support. So. But, but again in 1981, Munir Ahmed Farm started to put reform in Suparka. He met General Zia ul Haq and asked to re-establish the Suparka with an autonomous status without any political interference. Seeking advice from Munir Khan, Zia ul Haq appointed Dr. Salim Mahmood as chairman of Suparko. In 1990, Pakistan launched its first locally built satellite Bada 1 from China. In 1991, Bada 2 was also launched with help of United Kingdom. But as the time went on, Suparko failed to gain government interest. The main reason was for Suparko downfall was itself because as the time went on, Suparko could not sustain control of its satellites. Most famous example of this is Badal 2, which was lost in space after two years from its launch. Again in 1994, Suparko lost two orbital slots. In 2000, Suparko was bought by National Command Authority. In 2003, Pervez Musharraf and Shuka Aziz started to support SU Parko by increasing funds. In 2004, Pakistan laid its mission to develop first geostationary satellite, Paksat-1R. It took seven years to complete this mission as in 2011. Paksat-1R was launched successfully from China. After this, Pakistan did not achieve anything in space research. Reasons must be lack of interest or laziness of Su Parko. Well, it's still a mystery what Su Parko would do in response to Israel's success. And that's it for today. Till next episode, take care and be sure to stick with us to witness these awesome videos.